السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی ویڈیو سیریز آن ڈیٹا سائنس ٹوڈے وی آر ڈائیونگ ان ٹو اے کروشل اسٹیپ ان اے ڈیٹا سائنس پروسیس دیٹ از ڈیٹا ٹرانسفارمیشن ڈیٹا ٹرانسفارمیشن ہیلپس اس پریپیئر اور ڈیٹا سو دیٹ دا مشین لرننگ الگورتھمس کین ورک مور ایفیشنٹلی لیڈنگ ٹو بیٹر اینڈ مور ایکوریٹ ریزلٹس ان دس فیس وی ول گو تھرو سیورل ٹرانسفارمیشن ٹیکنیکس انکلوڈنگ بننگ اسموتھنگ normalization, standardization, dimensionality reduction, and data augmentation. What is data transformation? It is the process of converting and modifying the data into a suitable format to enhance its structure and utility for analysis or modeling. In this video, we are going to focus on the first technique that is binning and smoothing. Binning helps us convert continuous data into discrete categories and smoothing helps us reduce the noise. Binning is used to convert the continuous data into categorical data. It's a type of discretization technique where the data is divided into intervals or bins. This is especially useful when we want to group the values and understand the underlying patterns. For instance, if you have student's marks, you can divide it into low, medium and high categories. There are two types of binning methods, equivid binning and equidep binning. Equivid divides the data into bins of equal width. The range of values is split into intervals of the same size and each bin has a fixed range. While equidep divides the data such that the each bin contains an approximately equal number of data points. The width of the bins can vary depending on the data distribution but the goal is to have the same number of instances in each bin. Let's start with the first method with an example. Here we have given a data set containing age of people. And we have to divide this into three categories. So the number of bins is equal to three. The first step is to calculate the range by subtracting the maximum and the minimum values. Then we calculate the bin width. It is calculated by dividing the range with the number of bins. So we got the value 27.66. Now we will create the boundary for the first bin. We will take the smallest element which is 5 in this case and we will add the bin width into it. So the boundaries for the first bin will become from 5 till 32.66. Now we will create the boundaries for the second bin. It will start with 32.66 and we will add the bin width into it. We will get the highest boundary that is 60.32. Similarly, the third bin will start from 60.32 and then we will add the bin width into it. And we get the second boundary that is 88. So now we have the ranges defined for each bin. Now we will check the data and we will place the values from the data into the respective bins where they should be. So 5, 12 and 28 will move to bin 1. 34, 45, 50 will move to bin 2. And 67 and 88 will move to bin 3. Now let's discuss the equidepth binning with the same example data. In equal depth binning, we calculate the depth of each bin by dividing the total number of elements in the data. So here we get a value roughly 3. So each bin should contain approximately 3 number of instances. Since the number of values in data are even, so one bin would have less number of values. For equidep binning, first we will sort the data. Once the data is sorted, we will place the elements in each bin in groups of 3. So the first 3 elements will go to bin 1, the next 3 will go to bin 2 and the remaining 2 will go to bin 3. Now let's discuss the smoothing methods. We will take the bins created in the previous example and then we will apply the smoothing methods on it. The first one is smoothing by bin means. It simply means that we replace all of the values in a bin by its mean. First we calculate the mean of the each bin. And then we will replace each value of the bin by its mean. 
data after applying smoothing looks something like this. Now let's discuss smoothing by bin boundaries. In this method, we take the highest and lowest values from each bin and refer them as boundaries. Now we compare all the elements between these boundaries with the boundary elements and check to which boundary they are closer to. For example, the difference between 5 and 12 is lesser than the difference between 12 and 28. So 12 is closer to the boundary that is 5. So we will replace 12 by 5. Similarly for the second bin. 45 is much closer to 50 rather than 34. So we will replace 45 by 50. And the third bin will remain as it is. So here is the data after applying the smoothing by bin boundaries. So summing up, binning helps us categorize the continuous data while smoothing helps us reduce the noise in the data. Both techniques are critical when we want to simplify the data and make it more digestible for machine learning model. In the next video, we will dive into the normalization and standardization. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos on data science and AI. See you next time.